Well, it looks like they did it again. Literally hours before the sixth anniversary live stream is set to start, they released the data download containing all the animations and details and everything else for the LR Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku and Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. Now, I can't say that I'm surprised because I'm really not, and I can't say that I'm upset by it. It's more so just a little bit disappointing because I thought maybe they would have learned from their past mistakes and instead of releasing the data download before the live stream, they waited a little bit and released it after. And that would have been fine, right? Because like the live stream is supposed to be when they reveal all this stuff for the first time to the world, right? Like they must know that people have access to the game files. So if they did a data download before the stream, then a lot of people would have been able to see the animations and it just wouldn't have been as exciting as it could be, you know? But uh, nonetheless, the animations are here now, so we might as well take a look, right? So uh, first things first, I wanna give a big shout out to I Seriously on Twitter for posting a lot of this stuff. And uh, what you see on the screen right now is the animated art for the Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku. And I gotta say, it looks really, really good. Um, now we also have the Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. And in my opinion, look, not to bash on Vegeta, I love Vegeta as much as anybody else, but I feel like there's a little bit too much going on in this art, you know, like the rocks and the aura and the sparkles and the lightning and all that crap, like it kind of takes away from just Vegeta himself. Um, I still think it's a very good looking card, I still like the effects, I just think they could have maybe toned it down just a little bit. But uh, with that said, Vegeta looks awesome too. So yeah, those are the card arts. And now why don't we move on to the animations, starting with the LRs first. Uh, here we go, we got the 12 key for the UI Goku. I have not looked at them at all. I was saving it for the video, so let's check it out. Here we go. Well, damn, yo, <laughs> I don't think my boy Goku has ever looked this good, man. I mean, it's just the 12 key, but it's just so damn smooth, man. I mean, like his movements, the running, like his hair, his aura, like it's just so smooth, right? Like this must be one of, if not the smoothest animation in the entire game. And I'm assuming that all of them are gonna look like this, like just very, very high quality. All right, so there's the 12 key. Uh, before I freak out too much, let's see what the 18 key has to offer. I'm gonna guess that it's gonna blow my face off. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I wasn't sure if I was gonna say this in this video, but LR Blue Gogeta might have some competition. Might have some competition. I mean, I'm not ready to say that this guy has better animations than Blue Gogeta, but it's it's gotta be pretty close, man. Oh my God, I was right. Yo, everything is so smooth. Like the quality of the animation I mean, it just feels like it's a higher frame rate than everything else we've seen, you know? And, yo, the close-up on the Kamehameha. Damn, dude. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yo, look, I still think that Blue Gogeta's 18 key might be my favorite animation in the game. But so far, Goku's must be a close second. It must be a close second. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> All right, all right, before we spend too much time here, uh, we still gotta check out Vegeta, so let's start with his 12 key, and boom.
Yo, I love how Vegeta is such a smug bastard. <laughs> that little grin he has while he's kicking the crap out of the Cyberman. <laughs> oh man, he looks really good. He looks really, really, really good. So, let's check out the 18 key now. Okay. That is everything I could have wanted from SSBE Vegeta's 18 key Superman. Oh my god. Yo, okay, so I'm 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 actually having a really hard time deciding whose animations I like more. Cause I mean, honestly, I do like Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku as a character more, as a form more. But they they tried really hard with Vegeta's animations, man. They put a lot of effort and thought into them, and it shows. It really shows. I I think Vegeta might have better animations than Goku, and I did not expect myself to say that. You know, like going into this video, I really didn't. Like I I fully expected to be blown away by UI Goku's. And I thought I would be like, yo, Vegeta's is nice, right? Like, his animations are, are nice, but they don't come close to Goku's. But that is not the case, man. I think Vegeta might have the superior animations. And they both look amazing, you know? So, it's a tough call. I don't know. I don't know. You guys tell me in the comments down below. Team Vegeta or Team Goku, who has the superior animations. Um, by the way, we're not done yet. We're not done yet. So there's animations for the two side characters, but before we do that, let's actually check out their active skills. Uh, here we go. Yeah, big shout out to DBZ Carry for posting this one. And I think it has both the active skills for Vegeta and Goku. エンドな仲間を傷つけるやつを許さねえぞ。赤い視点ほどの技を食らわせてやる。Bandai is really trying to bankrupt me, eh? They're really trying to make me homeless. Because... <laughs> Man... <laughs> it looks so good! Dude! Both of them! Both of them! I mean... Goku's insane. But Vegeta's also insane. I gotta have both. I, it, there's there's no choice like there's no choice between Goku or Vegeta. You got it. You got it. The answer is both like, The answer is Goku and Vegeta. Oh My god All right, let's let this play out and then uh, Oh man Vegeta I, I might be team Vegeta on this one guys. I might be team Vegeta. I, I know I said MUI Goku is my preferred character, but in terms of these animations, man, Vegeta. This is the um, revival skill for Vegeta, the shirtless revival skill. Because apparently there are two versions of this. One has him with a shirt, the other one has him without a shirt. So this is the shirtless version. And the uh, weird thing is there's no audio here. So all we see is the visual. But apparently in the game, there is both music and also a voice line. So keep that in mind, all right? So, <laughs> someone said it kind of looks like Vegeta's. You know what? I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. 
but uh, you guys can probably guess what the comment I was going to refer to was saying. But anyways, um, we got Vegeta, you know, thinking about his family, thinking about Kaba, and then, uh, you know, powering up after. So that is the revival skill right there. And I haven't seen anybody actually post the MUI Goku revival skill yet, but let me just quickly refresh and see if it's up now. Yo, shout out to Kawaii man for coming through with this revival skill animation for Goku. So, let's see it. Wow. So that's how these are supposed to be. <laughs> Apparently that's how it's supposed to be with the music and the the voice line. It's so different man I'm sure Vegeta's is just as epic, but of course we saw You know a version with no voice line with no music at all no audio, right? So it wasn't as hype, but seeing this now Oh It's basically like a second active skill right except instead of the effect being like voluntary It happens automatically when you get killed and uh, as you can see, right, like you get KO'd and then it shows the cut in and then the KO explodes and then the animation plays and then you're revived. So yeah, that is awesome, man. Um, I was kind of scared that, you know, a revival skill would take the place of an active skill or take the place of like a transformation or something like that. And it just be kind of annoying because like you don't want to have to die to get your unit to their full power, right? But nah, for these ones, it's literally just a revival. It just brings you back to 70% HP when you die. And it's like a free Senzu Bean, essentially, right? No, no, it's not even a Senzu Bean. It's, I mean, it's actually not comparable to any support item, right? Because there's no support item that can revive you after you die. So it is just a really OP mechanic. It's a really, really overpowered mechanic, that's for sure. Ah, <sighs> okay, so that is the MUI Goku revival skill. I could watch this all day, but let's check out a few of the other animations before we move on. So the Gohan on the Goku banner, actually Dokken awakens into a Gohan in Piccolo. So we'll start here first, and here we go. Man, I know they're supposed to be like a side character, but this could be a, you know, Dokkan Fest animation or even an LR animation, in my opinion. Like, it's really dope, man. It's really, really dope. So, yeah, Gohan and Piccolo. And the funny thing is, the other card, the Golden Frieza from Vegeta's Banner, actually Dokkan awakens into a Gohan and Frieza. So, I guess whoever had the lead on this animation must be a really big Gohan fan. I mean, don't get me wrong, I do like Gohan a lot, but it's just kind of weird to me that it was, you know, Gohan and somebody else for both characters, right? But anyways, let's watch their animation too. Yeah, not too shabby, not too shabby. I mean, after seeing the LRs and uh, even the Gohan and Piccolo, I think is quite a bit better, but this is like what I expect from a side character. So I think that the Gohan and Piccolo actually like overperformed and this one is just like a good animation. So those are all the animations we're gonna take a look at in this video. Now let's pop over to Erdogan's page where we can check out all the assets that were added to the game through this data download, okay? So first things first, we have the new categories for Goku and Vegeta. And Goku's category is called Miraculous Awakening. 
and Vegeta's new category is called Reviving Power. Now, I don't know exactly who's in these categories, but definitely fits the character, so I'm cool with that. And then we have basically just the assets for the new units, right? So we're starting with the SSR form for Master Ultra Instinct Goku, who might have my favorite art out of all three forms. But of course, they all look great. And uh, this is, of course, the TUR for MUI Goku. And we have the LR art for MUI Goku as well. And from there, we have the Vegeta's forms as well. There's the SSR. And here is the TUR. And finally, the LR. SSBE Vegeta. Then there's the new Gohan, who Doken awakens into Gohan and Piccolo. And we also have the Frieza, who Doken awakens into Gohan and Frieza. Still really weird to me that both of them have Gohan in it, you know? Oh, yeah, wait. Uh, this is the TUR with the Gohan and Frieza. The other one is just the Frieza, right? And uh, we also have the shirtless version of Vegeta. So as far as I'm aware, Vegeta is the only one between the two LRs that has a revival skill that also has a costume effect, basically changes his art. So for Vegeta, after he revives, I believe he has no shirt, whereas uh, Goku will look exactly the same. All right. And uh, some more renders here of the Vegeta some more assets for Vegeta. We have this close-up of Vegeta. We have their token awakening medals and uh, also some more art for the Vegeta and also the Goku. Um, I believe these are probably for the events. And this last thing I can only assume is related to the revival skills because I haven't seen this before. So I think it's probably something to do with revival skills. So big shout out to Air Dokkan for posting these assets. And uh, that is pretty much everything that this uh, data download has to offer. Now, of course, I'm sure some of you guys were expecting me to go over the details for the LRs as well as the uh, Gohan and Piccolo and also Gohan and Frieza, but I actually don't have those translations available to me right now. This is one of those moments where I really, really wish that I knew how to read Japanese, but unfortunately I don't. Um, I think that Goresh actually posted a video like 10 minutes ago uh, with the translations though for all four of the new units, the Goku, the Vegeta, as well as Gohan and Piccolo and Gohan and Frieza. So I'll put a link in my description down below if you guys want to check that out. And uh, yeah, guys, that is going to be today's video. Just wanted to cover the details of the data download. Of course, we have the stream coming up very, very soon. I will still be streaming with Toon Rami and uh, Jinro. So, yo, definitely tune in if you want to join in on the fun. And yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.